Hey, what's up everybody? Back with another YouTube video. This time around, I've got the Polo Vivo GT. So it's received some interesting changes all over, inside. And I thought, why not, you know, this is going to be the first, no, not first follow on my channel. I've got my Polo GTI on there as well. But yeah, let's go around it. I'm going to show you the exterior, the interior, go for a drive. Uh, but, you know, just at the front, we've got a nice GT badge on there. You've got new LED daytime running lights and LED headlights, essentially, which I think is quite cool. Now you don't have to go to Chinatown and put in these things, guys. Like, here we go. You have it. You've got fog lights on there. You come across the side. You've got these 17-inch mirror bar wheels. I love these wheels a lot. I think this is a really nice alloy, considering that this is the entry-level range into the Volkswagen family. So it's really quite cool. And I like the fact that it works quite well with this white-ish. I don't know what color this is, as well as this blue. The contrast is beautiful. I quite like it. And the contrast goes again as you come onto this color-coded wing mirror, which is this silver. It's, it's giving S3 Golf R, you know, and then you get this um, nice wing mirror. And then GT decals on here, you know, just to provide some sort of sportiness into the car. They've brought those GT decals as well as a splitter. <laughs> they brought that on there which looks quite cool and yeah i think the entire silhouette of the car from the side just looks really good i'm a huge fan of these mirror bow mirror bow alloys i think they look quite cool anyway i'm gonna turn the car around for you and then i'm gonna show you the rear and then we'll get inside and then we'll go for a drive before i get inside i forgot to tell you something this car is powered by a one liter engine now um the one liter tsi engine which gives you 81 kilowatts and 200 Newton meters of torque. So if you think about it, this is the previous generation Polo TSI. And I mean, we all know that the Polo Vivos is essentially, they've been doing that. Um, Volkswagen though, we did go to Garija the other day and they said that this is an in-house project. Everything you see here, Germany is not involved. This is a pure South African product. But yeah, that engine is a 81 kilowatt and 200 Newton meters of torque, one liter TSI. Paired to a six-speed manual, which I think is perfect, there are issues that I'm going to talk to you in the drive. But yeah, let's get inside. Well, let's do the rear, get inside, and then we'll go for a drive. So before I go on, I just wanted to let you guys know that you can use the link in the description to go to the Naked Insurance website or app, and then you guys can get some savings. I mean, it will literally take you 90 seconds to get a coat for your either Polo Vivo or whatever car that you drive. Let me know what coats you guys get. So coming to the rear, you get a really good looking rear. I think we've seen this rear now in uh, so many generations in terms of the Polo. You get this boot spoiler, which is quite cool. It's in black piano, black material, which I like. Polo Vivo be badging on there as well as a GT badging on there. It is a sticker, so I'm pretty sure after a while it will start to peel off. The boot is enormous. I've got stuff in here currently, but it's enormous. You get a nice decent sized uh, boot which i really quite like because you can put quite a lot of stuff in there and i mean this car you can go almost everywhere with it so that is quite cool anyway let's jump inside and then i'll show you how the interior is like and then we'll go for a drive so inside i think you get a really well appointed interior especially for this gt range i like this leather wrapped steering wheel essentially comes from the previous generation polo tsis multifunctional as well you get digital, not digital, my bad, analog dials on there. And the same thing as well that's been taken out of the Apollo TSI, which is this infotainment with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is quite cool. Touch screen, I like it. It's fast free and, you know, just a really nice interior overall, essentially. I think in terms of the center console, I'm not mad at it. It's a very familiar place for a lot of people. Nobody really complains. You've got lighting up here, halogen headlight in there for the interior. This is the only light in the car. Coming back to this infotainment, you only get one USB for the entire car. You don't get rear vents, which is a bit of an issue. Today's like 36 degrees. And I mean, I can't imagine if somebody's sitting in the back. There's a really nice gear lever on there, which I like. This does become in the way a bit. And oh, yeah, but I mean, if you guys have seen my, my owner review of my Polo GTI, this in the end will essentially go to the dogs. But you get also these nice cloth seats with red accents as well as red stitching in it, red GT floor mats. So I do think that they've tried their best to make sure that it's a well-appointed interior and I'm not mad at that. I just think that it's starting to get dated. My number one problem in this car is the fact that you get windy, windy rear windows and you also get... Oh, come on. I can't control my mirrors 
electronically. So this is a problem. I mean, in a Suzuki Celeria and Swift, you can do that electronically and you get all round windows. So I do think that's where they're starting to cut corners a lot. But overall, that is the interior. Let's go for a drive. So you join me inside of the Polo Vivo GT, as I mentioned, powered by a one liter TSI engine that gives you 81 kilowatts and 200 newton meters of torque paired to this amazing six speed manual. I think this is the gearbox to go and yeah, nothing else. I think the one issue just to get that out of the way is obviously there's a lot of lag in this car and that's on the second gear. You have to build up that boost and once there is that boost and then you start to go but sometimes you actually feel like the car is going to stall as you come off a hum or a stop sign in second gear. I'm going to try to do it now actually here. When I get into second, there is load shading. So get into second and there we go. And then it starts building up and when it does build up just after when it gets to the 3000 rev marker and then it goes so i just yeah you know what i'm not sure if that's a real if it's a it's not a deal breaker but i mean it's noticeable and it does get frustrating and at times you don't need to get it back into first you just need to get back into second so yeah that is that however where this car triumphs has to be on the fuel efficiency. I have done 405 kilometers right now and I still have 400 kilometers of fuel. So it just shows you that VW know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. And I mean, there isn't any Volkswagen product that is not necessarily fuel efficient. I mean, even if you look at the Golf GTI, those cars are very fuel efficient and regardless of them being sporty and all that stuff they still manage to be fuel efficient so i think they have won that recipe in terms of fuel efficiency my biggest pet peeve though has to be these meta controls and i thought to myself no maybe i can control them when obviously you come into the car and you sit but sometimes i mean i have my friend a boy of mine here sebastian he comes in, he adjusts things according to him and I'd expect obviously to just fix these mirror, mirrors to fix them as I go. So now having to reach over to certain things to see is not quite cool. And guys, this car is 341,000 Rand. Why do we still have these? Why do we still have that? So that's just the biggest um, pet peeve of mine. Otherwise, it drives beautiful. It's comfortable over any little bumps or whatever. Like it just drives like a polo, guys. That's it. It drives like a Polo. Literally. There's nothing else that you can complain about. The clutch is beautiful. Anybody can, you know, can uh, get into the car and drive it. So, while it does have its little flaws here and there, yeah. I mean, right now, the heat is it's banging hot right now. There are no rear air vents. There's only one USB in this car. So, it's those things that then tend to be worrying. But, yeah. Wow. Okay, nice. That's a nice Polo Vivo there, Sebastian, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Before I go, though, please head over to the Naked Insurance website or the app. You can get a code for your Polo Vivo GT or your Polo Vivo or your Golf GTI, whatever car, really. New car or used car, you can get a code on there and essentially in under 90 seconds so please head over to naked insurance the link is in my description if you're on social media the link is in my bio like i my stuff are insured with naked and rose makes me aware every time she deducts money from me so yeah it hasn't been a a hectic time with um, naked insurance please check the description the link in the description and then we can take it from there what are we doing this is why we need insurance because what is this guy doing anyway thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you on the next one